today we've got lots of updates. We're going to talk about some fabulous new itineraries that have been released. We've also got Royal Caribbean releasing a new VIP type package. And um, I know that a lot of us cruise princess here, celebrity, Holland America, but often when we're taking our families, a lot of people like to go on Royal Caribbean because their ships have um, like the water slides and all that kind of stuff. And there are some people that enjoy that themselves as well. So I feel like it's important to all of us to know about this. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips. And first of all today, I want to start off with a fast question for you all because I know you are in the know. If you were going to Seattle and you were embarking on a cruise, would you park at the port or do you have other suggestions for us? I know that at the port when you get there to the pier there is parking there, but if anyone has any other suggestions that would be really helpful for our Let's Go family members. So will you let us know? You can put it in the comments, you can send me an email. So thank you very much. Really quickly, last um, at the end of last week, we were talking a little bit about the R Ruby Princess, the trouble that she has had with um, the norovirus, with gastrointestinal issues uh, for passengers and some crew members on her ships. So I've got a couple of updates for you. First of all, we've got a Let's Go family member who is sailing on the Majestic right now, and they are on Princess Sailing around um, Australia. She said that they are having trouble with that there as well. So I would say this is not just, it's not just a Princess problem, it's not just um, a United States problem, it sounds like it indeed is global, which um, would be why the CDC had mentioned the risk of that. But also, um, let me tell you what, um, is going on on the Majestic Princess right now to do due to this problem. Um, first of all, she said that the crew does all of the serving in the buffet and everywhere. All of the laundromats are closed for the time being until they decide to open them again. The captain's circle parties are canceled. And here's what I love though. She says, we are still having a blast. The weather has been wonderful and Australia is just beautiful. And so that's an update with what's going on on the Majestic Princess. And then we've also got Let's Go family members who just got off of the Regal Princess. Princess. Now, um, we've had a lot of talk here about, um, you know, hand washing stations, and there's a few ships that don't have them, but overwhelmingly most of the princess ships do. And then also um, about people standing there to ask you to wash your hands. My personal experience on princess has been, I cannot remember the last time I was on a princess cruise and that there was not somebody there asking us to wash our hands. Um, I, I, uh, every time I do, um, I would wash my hands anyway because I'm just that way, but I'm not going to tell them no. But I do notice a lot of people, just in my observation on the cruises I have been on, just walk right by. Um, I saw some people walk right by when they were talking about washing your hands on Norwegian. Um, on, and it's just... Um, I hope more people stop and wash their hands. But um, anyway, so the Regal Princess, um, she wanted everybody to know that, of course, they've got the hand washing stations and there was someone there the whole time reminding everyone to wash their hands. And I will remind everyone, the last time I was on a Princess cruise was at the end of October. And I've sailed on, in that meantime, I've sailed on Norwegian twice, Royal Caribbean once, and Celebrity twice. And... Um, so um, I'll be getting back to Princess, hopefully sooner than later. Then I also, this is to me very exciting. Holland America it has released what they're calling their legendary voyages and they have added some new ones and they have this whole list of them and they are spectacular. They are your longer voyages. So I felt like I wanted to tell you about a few of them that I have put a star by uh, for those of you that have that much time and you are able to go. So um, anyway, this is part of their whole big 150th birthday celebration. The three new ones that they are adding are as a 28 day. Arctic Circle Solstice Cruise, like how cool is that? A 53 day Majestic Japan Cruise and a 28 day Coral Triangle Volcanoes and the Great Barrier, Barrier Reef um, Cruise, which to me, like I, those are exciting. Let me tell you though, also they've got a 56 day 
or a 51 day Tales of the South Pacific and that's on the Volendam. They've got like a 34 day South Pacific crossing that goes from San Diego to Sydney. Um, another one that I thought was really cool was they have a 28 day Amazon Explorer journey and um, that goes like next February in 2024 on the Zondam. They've got, let's see, I told you a 35 day um, Voyage of the Vikings that is going on the Zeterdam, a 35-day um, cruise that will circumnavigate Australia. So just so many fabulous cruises. Indeed. So with that, you get the standard package includes a $300 on shore excursion credit, so $300 when you're going that long, three nights of specialty dining, the signature beverage package, and the surf Wi-Fi are included. So the surf Wi-Fi, um, print, uh, Holland America has their um, regular Wi-Fi, and then they also have a faster Wi-Fi. So it sounds absolutely wonderful. I know that when Gordon can retire, we're going to do one of those, and I hope there's, I'm sure they'll still be offering them then. So um, we're saving our money so we can do things like that. Now this is just fun for those of you who are going to Alaska this year. So I just always keep my eye on the general news, and there is a volcano in um, Alaska just at the tip of the Aleutian Islands there. I was looking at the map, and it's pretty close to the end there. It's like 2,650 miles from Anchorage, so it's a long ways away. Um, no, it's it's 1,250. Where did I get that other number? Anyway, it's 1,250 miles from Anchorage, so it's a long ways, and it is not projected to cause any trouble with anything in Alaska this summer, but I thought it would be really fun to um, just know that there is a volcano there that has been dormant for a very long time, and they're starting to have earthquakes um, right there by the volcano, which the volcanologists say um, is indicative that maybe there will be an eruption soon. So I'll be keeping my eye on that news and let you know about it. I think it's so exciting um, when things like that happen. It's in an area where people don't live, so we don't have to worry about anyone getting hurt or their homes destroyed. So I just thought it would be kind of fun for you to know about that. Um, the other thing that we needed to talk about today was this brand new um, package that um, Royal Caribbean is introducing. And the nice thing that they're talking, it's called the Premier Pass. And um, I'm trying to track down some more information on the pricing. So if any of you have more information on that, put it in the comments or send me an email so that all of us will know about it. But it's really a fun pass. It includes um, a welcome bottle of wine, uh, priority embarkation and debarkation. You get the inside access tour, which like shows you the bridge and some of the interesting things there on the ship. You get an officer's lunch with two guests and like a picture of you with the officers. Uh, it doesn't say which officer will be there. Um, you get unlimited internet access for for two people. Oh, and by the way, this is for two people. This is not for one person. When you buy it, it's for two people. And um, you also get um, wine pairing with a sommelier for two guests, and the wine with that is complimentary. And you also get one bag of laundry per stateroom. So, and to do that, the best number that I can track down is it looks like it costs $88.99, and it's a one-time purchase. It does not look to me like this is an everyday purchase. You pay for it one time, and then you get those perks. And the nice thing about it is that um, several of the things that are included with this are things that um, you would get for your suite guests, you know, people staying in a suite or people that have high loyalty with Royal Caribbean. So it gives you the chance just to pay for it uh, for two people and enjoy it that way. So I think that's very nice. Um, the next thing though that you should know is they have had the key pass uh, for quite some time now. And let me tell you what is included with that. Uh, both of the packages I've noticed include that priority embarkation and disembarkation, but it, other than that, what they contain is a little bit different. And with the key pass, you have to buy that for everybody in the stateroom ages six and up, and it is a per price. It's a per day charge, and so I believe it's like around twenty-three dollars a day per person. So let me tell you what you get with that one. Um, you get the priority um, embarkation, debarkation, like I say. Um, you get a carry-on um, 
bag, like if you have a carry-on bag and you want them to take it to your stateroom for you, you just have to drop it off in the main dining room before 1.30 and they will take that to your cabin for you. You get a private time at onboard activities like rock climbing, flow rider, and more. So that's really handy if you are on a ship that is really packed, and especially if you're taking your family and it's at a time um, when it's super busy with families. That actually would be really nice to have some priority time with that private time. Priority departure at tender ports. That's another thing that um, I would think about paying for if I want, if I was going. I would look at what my tender ports are for my cruise and then decide as far as that goes because some ports you can get off pretty quickly or it doesn't matter if you're a little bit later. But if you are somewhere and you went off that ship super early and you don't want to book a, book a uh, ship excursion, that's very valuable to be able to have that priority um, tender port departure time. You also get an exclusive welcome lunch in the main dining room featuring the Chops Grill menu, so you get to order a little bit fancier lunch there. Um, you get to sit in the VIP seating section for shows that are in the main theater, the Aqua Theater, Studio B, and 270. Um, you need a reservation to do that, but you get to have that priority seating, which that's also valuable if you're on a really busy cruise because seating can fill up super fast. The other thing is you get the Voom Surf and Stream for one device, um, and that is their high-speed internet, and so um, that's also nice because they also have their basic internet and then their Voom that goes faster, and that is so you would get the basic, but anyway, it includes that extra charge. You would have to pay for that, and then also on debarking, day you get to have um, an a la carte breakfast and you can choose what time you want to get off the ship. I kind of think, I don't know, I haven't sailed Real, Royal Caribbean enough to know if you can kind of choose what time you get off the ship anyway. I know that on Norwegian you just go down um, to the by customer service and they have a table that has all of the luggage tags out in the different colors and you just choose what time you want to get off the ship and take the luggage tag that goes with that. It's like super easy and you do get to choose. Um, Princess, if they have ever assigned us a time to disembark and it's not what I was hoping for, you just go down to customer service, tell us what we want, and they tell them what we want, and then they switch it for us. And so um, it sounds like um, this will be super easy if you book that. So those of you that have done the key package, put it below for us so we know what your experience has been. I know we've got Let's Go family members booked on Royal Caribbean, so your experience there would be very valuable to them. And then also let us know, um, those of you that try the new Premier Pass, let us know if you enjoy it, if you think it's worth it, and um, how much it costs on your cruise, okay? Um, like I said, from what I have seen, it looks like it's like $88.99, but, and truly, if you were paying for all of that that you get in that Premier Pass, and you paid $88.99 for two people, I say snap it up. You get to do so much with that. I think it would be very worthwhile. So those of you who um, have not subscribed, we would love it if you would please subscribe. We need to have you with this, and we are getting really close to having 15,000 subscribers. So I am so excited, which puts us well on our way to our goal this year for 100,000. So if you'd be willing to support us, click that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything, and it doesn't obligate you to anything. So thank you if you decide to do that, and thank you to all of you who are subscribed and then also if you appreciate these updates would you give this video a thumbs up I'll be t and we are going to do our live tonight I should add that we will be here at 9 p.m. Eastern time so bring your questions uh, bring um, your fun experiences and we'll have a nice time together so I look forward to seeing you then I'll be talking to you all again really soon you all take really good care God bless you love you bye-bye mm,